Hey, in this short video, we're going to take a quick look on how to solder one of these ceramic uh, leadless uh, packages. These have what are called castellated uh, connections. There's a pad along the bottom, and then it kind of goes through a, almost like a via that was sawed in half, if you will. And uh, that makes it a little bit, little bit easier to solder than uh, the leadless parts that uh, just have pads along the bottom. Uh, the ones that just have pads along the bottom, you almost have to kind of put in a reflow oven. But these you can do by hand. So we'll take a quick look on, uh, on how to solder this part and uh, down on this uh, circuit board here for this next uh, kit that I'm building. As with any surface mount part, I typically use uh, some flux. Uh, the flux will help the solder flow. And especially for something like this, we want uh, the flux to get underneath the part and help the solder to flow uh, where we can't see it down uh, behind the part and underneath the part. Now as so, I do with uh, most of these surface mount parts, I like uh, putting solder on uh, one of the pads to start with and uh, that'll help me kind of get the part positioned and put in place. So uh, we'll just put a little solder on this corner pad here and uh, we'll lay the part in there and use that to kind of get us uh, started and soldered down. Okay, so the, first, the first part of this is always tricky. You want to get the part positioned just right and uh, heat up that land so that the part will lay in there and stay nice and tight. So once I get it stuck, I'll take a quick look at it here and I might reposition this a little bit and also make sure it's pushed down tight. So I'm going to reflow it again, reposition this slightly and make sure it's pushed down tight to the, part, to the board and we should be good to go. So with that one laid in there, that's all soldered now tight in place. We can then go and solder uh, some of the remaining uh, connections. And I'll start with uh, a corner over here and uh, just trying to get uh, a little solder in there. Flow a little bit extra time there so that solder flows up underneath and we get a nice connection there. Do the same thing on this side here. Make sure we make connection to the package there to heat up that connection. And we'll get a nice uh, fillet along the side there. Okay. Turn the board around to make it easy to uh, reach these other connections here and we'll finish soldering these up. So. Okay, and then one last one here on the end and we should be good to go. All right. Well, I hope you learned a little something about how to solder these uh, leadless chip carriers uh, packages with the castellated uh, connections. Really not that difficult. You just have to take your time and a little illuminated magnifier really helps when you're working on this kind of stuff.